Well, it's Wednesday, Mark, Is it? and that means weather-wise oh, time. Right. As we cruise into the warm season, temperatures are trending upward. But this time of year can also be notorious for cold snaps, as we've seen. Oh, yeah, a lot of swings. Uh, meteorologist Jerry Shelton goes over the damaging effects of late spring frost and freezes in this week's weather wise. As we near the end of April, landscapes here in St. Joseph continue to grow greener. The bleak days of winter are behind us, but sub freezing temperatures can still cause issues for spring vegetation. Just last weekend, St. Joseph dropped to a low temperature of 23 degrees, setting a daily record and resulting in scattered frost damage. This can take the form of wilted or tattered leaves in certain species of trees, such as this burr oak. Trees tend to recover from frost damage, but flower beds and gardens must be preserved with protective covering, such as a blanket or tarp. According to the National Weather Service, our last spring freeze normally comes in mid-April, but can happen much later. This was the case in 2013 when cold and snow battered parts of the Show Me State during the first week of May. With heavy wet flakes falling here in St. Joseph and several inches of heavy wet snow reported as far south as the Ozarks. Lucky for us, this year is looking warmer as temperatures trend closer to average over the next few weeks. For News Press Now, I'm meteorologist Jared Shelton.